All right, so today's video is about clarification. I need to clarify some online chatter and comments I've been seeing about subscription services in regards to your Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra trucks, not to mention the rest of our GM line. Are they charging me for heated seats? Are they charging me for heated steering wheel to use my navigation, to use my remote start? There seems to be a lot of confusion about this, and that is what I want to clarify today. So with that, let's get going. All right, so here's the deal. I'm wearing this shirt for a reason, and that is that April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. And as such, I partnered up and teamed up with my friends over at Manscaped to help spread awareness of this terrible disease. In fact, it's unfortunate, but what they're saying is that it is the most common form of cancer for men between the ages of 15 and 35. Well, listen, with men's hygiene and health in mind, what Manscaped has done is they partnered up with the Testicular Cancer Awareness Society, and they're donating $50,000 to help those who have been affected by this terrible disease. And in light of this, what Manscaped has done is they've created a limited edition only to 10,000 Lawnmower 4.0 in purple. This is my normal one. I don't have the purple one on me right now. Um, the Lawnmower 4.0, the uh, you know Nicholas trimmer. It's wireless charging. It's got the light on it. Of course, you can use it in the shower. Man, I love this thing. You gotta check it out. Not to mention, right now they've also got great packages like the Performance Package 4.0, where they give you this Lawnmower 4.0. They give you things like the Crop Preserver, the Crop Reviver. That's the ball toner and ball deodorant, by the way. Not to mention one of my favorites right here, which is the Weed Whacker. It's gonna get places that the Lawnmower 4.0 won't, which is, you know, your nose and your ears. And they're going to throw in some, some free gifts like the Manscaped Shed Bag, not to mention the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxes. And if you want to save 20% while you go there to help this cause, just use my code TCSJEFF. That's going to save you 20%, give you free shipping. Check the links below and help, help, help with this cause. All right, so here's the deal. GMC, Chevrolet, Buick, and Cadillac, of course, have been using subscription services all the way back to 1996 when at the Chicago Auto Show, um, OnStar was basically introduced. If you're not sure what OnStar is, of course, it's a subscription service, which basically initially had the ability to use hands-free calling in your phone. Um, you know, could call emergency re you know, response crews um, and so on. And that was a bigger deal when you know many of us didn't have cell phones. And now, um, basically, OnStar services have shifted more towards using data as opposed to using free minutes for a phone or, or minutes for a phone, pardon me. In fact, that's actually gone away. But that's not really necessarily what we're talking about today. I guess in part it is. And what I it's in part is because we do yes have some subscription services that are available for your Chevy Silverado in GMC Sierra trucks however to use the majority of the features that we would use as truck customers there wouldn't be a charge for these things so first and foremost some of the things I've been hearing uh, one of the comments I've been hearing is is there going to be an extra charge to use my heated seats and heated steering wheel, uh, cooled seats? Because again, there's some confusion around that right now, especially with some of the trucks not coming with this option. Um, and then you'll see on your you know, bill of sale or on your window sticker, minus $50 for heated seats, minus $50 for heated steering wheel. A couple things I want to clarify about that before we even get into the rest of this topic is first and foremost, if you don't have heated seats, heated steering wheel, rear park assist in your vehicle, for an example, those, you know, minus 50, minus $25, whatever those charges are, those are just like, Listen, we're sorry. We are going to get these two. They are going to be retrofitted free of charge at the dealership. Um, but those aren't, you know, in lieu of, and then you have to buy a subscription service for those things to work. So if you have heated seats, heated steering wheel, um, in your vehicle, cooled seats, whatever it is, uh, and it's normally supposed to be equipped that way, whether it comes with it initially or it's going to be retrofitted after, there is no charge to use those. You pay for those when you buy the truck, whether it be the Chevy Silverado or the GMC Sierra. So keep in mind that those services have already been paid for, all right? So that is not gonna be an extra charge. Another thing I've read about is extra safety features. So my rear park assist, side blinds on alert. As of right now, of course, those are also free of charge because you're already paying for them in the price of the truck, of the vehicle, okay? And again, this is this is amongst, not just the Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierras, I'm only talking about that because of course, this is what this channel is about, but this is about the Yukons, Tahoes, you know, our Escalades, any GM product is gonna fall under this same umbrella, okay? Now, one of the new changes, however, comes with, you know, in our new refresh trucks, of course, comes in that massive big color touchscreen. You're also gonna see um, uh, this, this thing I'm gonna talk about in the new Yukons, Tahoes and stuff as well. But what I'm talking about is the Google integration. Now, so we have a new screen, but in that screen, we have the Google integration, which means we have Google Maps within that Google touchscreen. Now, one of the things I will say is navigation per se is not an extra charge. It used to be, in Canada, it used to be $850 to get navigation in a truck. Now it has the Google Maps built in there. Yes, if you want to use the Google Maps that's built into the truck, 
That is a subscription service. Let me explain. You'll have to have data for the vehicle in order to use that because it's a web-based, you know, cloud-based service, okay? However, if you don't choose to use that, you still have the ability to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto off of your telephone. And I can tell you firsthand, my experience, I use that 99.99% of the time. And, and, and my wife's Tahoe, that's what we use. And the reason why is because it uses very little data. It's up to date, it's up to speed. Yeah, if we want to choose the Google integration and we want to, we want to buy data for the vehicle, absolutely sure that, that you know that that's your choice. Again, it depends on what you do and how often you're using it. But for us, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto works fine. So really, there's not really much of an extra charge in that respect. In fact, it's better than what the old navigation systems were because again, it's much more updated, uh, much more up to speed, of course. Next one is hands-free calling. They're charging me to use my hands-free calling. No, they are not. Again, going back to the old 1990s um, OnStar, where they you know you had to buy minutes for the phone that was built into the vehicle itself. Yes, that's when they did. No longer is that the case since forever that I can remember. Um, as long as you have Bluetooth in the vehicle, which I don't think there's even a GM vehicle that doesn't come with Bluetooth as a standard option. Um, it is free. It, it's, it's, it, I mean, obviously it's gonna use your own, you know, your own roaming, your own data and all that kind of stuff. That's your own phone. Um, but there is no extra charge. You don't have to have a subscription service in order to use the Bluetooth aspects of your vehicle. And the really cool part is most of our new vehicles are coming with the Bluetooth ability for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I just talked about. Uh, that integration is seamless. And again, there's no extra charge in order to use that. But how about remote starting my vehicle? I've been told by my friends that they're gonna charge me a monthly subscription to pay to start my own vehicle. That is half true. Let me explain. So first and foremost, the majority of GM vehicles, especially when you get to the GMC Sierra, Chevy Silverado, and anything mid-trim level or above, you're gonna get factory remote start free of, well, I don't want to say free because you pay for it, of course, initially, but there's going to be no monthly subscription when you use your actual key fob. And why I say that is because there isn't. As long as you, the vehicle's within, you know, distance, you can start the vehicle and it charge and, and it'll start it, pardon me, charge it, starts it. <laughs> okay. Now, where the confusion comes in is we do have a subscription service that is mated to, again, with OnStar, mated to your cell phone. So if you have a GMC, it's the My GMC app. If it's a Chevrolet, it's the My Chevrolet app. Those apps, by the way, first and foremost, are free. And there's a lot of cool things about those apps. But this is something I actually subscribe to. There is the ability to start, lock, and unlock your phone with of your vehicle, pardon me, with your phone through these apps. And this is a charge. And again, it depends on where you are. I know in Canada, it's about 13 to 15 bucks a month. Um, and the cool part about it is you can be just about anywhere and start your vehicle, lock and lock, as long as you have data on your phone. But that is an option. You still get the remote start with the vehicle, with the key fob that'll work for most people's applications. If you wanna take it a step further, yes, you can subscribe to that service. But again, it is not something you have to do in order for it to work. Now, something I also wanna to clarify too is in the past, this was a feature that GM gave out free for five years, at least within Canada, um, you would get the remote link app free for five years. Now, uh, or to, you know, start the vehicle and lock and lock it. The, the, the issue there became, now what happens is I might have a Ford customer come in or a Dodge customer and say, well, you know, I, can, I, I, I don't have to pay to, to start it with, with this app. That's correct, but you are paying for it within the price of the vehicle. GM is not charging that extra charge. They're giving the option for people to pay on a monthly subscription as opposed to paying extra, because again, we could have that extra charge built into the vehicle, which they're not doing. So basically that's kind of it in a nutshell. Those are some of the things I've read that people are confused about. Safety features, heated seats, cooled seats, uh, navigation, remote start, hands-free calling. Those are some of the things I've been reading online that people are confused of. What am I being charged for? What am I not being charged for? As it stands right now, I don't think there's anything that the GM vehicles um, offer, you know, that you're getting with the truck uh, that you would have to pay for extra um, that would be a deal breaker, you know, that you wouldn't be able to use a truck if you weren't paying extra for it. You know, for an example, it would be kind of a deal breaker for me if I had to pay monthly for heated seats. That is not the case. I hope I clarify this. Please comment below if you have more questions. Maybe there's a, a, an aspect of the subscription services I didn't cover. I would love to go over it with you or discuss it with you. But I just want to make some clarification today. I know it's not a super exciting video, but I wanted to have some clarification. That's the whole point of this channel, right? Is to help with the news and to clarify things for you, my viewers. As always, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Until the next video, take care.